Hello, welcome to Mowgli TV. In this video, we're going to go through BPM Audio Shapes, a generative source for Resolume Avenue and Arena, which is available on Gumroad, link below. Even if you don't have this source, there'll be some tips and tricks for using any generative content, so stick around and you might learn a thing or two. To install wire sources into Resolume, all you need to do is get the C wired file and just drag it onto your Resolume. Instantly, you'll have the patch automatically installed. From there on, it will appear in your sources under wire sources. Let's just drag that across. And as you first load BPM audio shapes onto your deck, this is what it looks like. It's basically an uh, infinite zoom kind of effect with a nice glow wiping around the shapes. Let's go into the clip settings and really quickly go through all the possibilities. Right at the top, you've got your shape selection. So you've got eight different shapes that you can select by clicking on them. You've got the global scale, which allows you to scale the whole array of shapes that are currently present on your screen. Your shape thickness, which goes from like a hairline to quite fast, so you can completely fill in the shape, giving very different looks. Single slider for your color, so you can easily scroll through the whole spectrum. Your glow amount, which is really good for getting neon effects. Got this metal effect, which creates some reflections that are very handy. That in conjunction with the glow achieves many, many different effects. It's all about fine tuning it. It's about finding the sweet spots and you can get a whole range of different material effects for your shapes. Then you've got the shape trigger, which is automatically synced to BPM. So this would always be in sync with your master clock here. You can have the shape trigger going at the different fractions of your clock. So one quarter will be a beat, one is a bar. So if you just put it on one bar, you see that it slows down. It's only triggering a shape every bar. So that's every four beats. Next, we've got the settings for the actual animation, which are composed of the shape easing, which has got different shapes. If you're not familiar with this terminology, you can have a look at the Resolume official documentation where it talks about envelopes as this is what these things are. They're different envelopes for the animation. Then you've got the shape time in and the shape time out. Between shape time in and shape time out and the shape easing, you can make all sorts of different choreographies of the shapes animating in and out. At present, it's on linear and the shape timeout, it's at zero. So that means that the shape is only gonna be coming in. So that's the way to achieve an infinite zoom. Let's re-trigger it on the beats so we get more of the shape coming in and maybe bring a bit of the glow back up, turn down the metal for now. If we wanna have the inverse of this, as in the infinite zoom is going in reverse, all you need to do is bring that one down and then bring the shape timeout up. So now, instantly it works in reverse if we change the shape easing it won't be a smooth increase or decrease of size as you can see so it changes the feel of the animation and actually by changing the slider positions this will be very dramatically different if we increase both of them then you get both animation in and out just with these settings you can make infinite kinds of animation it really, really pays off to experiment, play about with it and see what you can achieve. Moving further down, you've got the wipe settings. Currently it's on, you can switch it off. It might be a good idea to tweak down the glow. So here you can see the flat color settings of the shape. The wipe sync, let's switch it back on, is automatically linked to your BPM clock and you've got fractions of it here. It goes from one beat to four bars. So it allows you to make choreographies that last a few bars that together with the shape time in, shape time out and the easing settings allows you to make animations that actually never loop. They'll be progressing indefinitely. Then you've got all the settings for your wipe. So you've got two kinds of motion, linear and random. Let's speed this up a bit so it's more evident. So that's the linear one. And that is the random one, which you can make it go quite fast to achieve strobe-like and laser-like effects. And then you've got symmetrical and asymmetrical wipe style. You've got settings for the wipe length and the wipe fade. 
Next down, you've got the settings for FFT. If you're not familiar with FFT, it's basically sound reaction. Uh, this has been tailored to bass frequencies, so it's focusing on your beat. All the controls you've got, choosing the FFT source, so it could be local, that meaning the clip itself. So if you put an audio file on this same clip, it'll be reacting to that. Then you've got composition, which is what I've got selected at the moment. So any sound coming from your rest room composition will affect it. Or you've got external, which could be your uh, microphone. Or if you've got a sound card, any input going into that. I have this audio file here, which I'm going to trigger. So you see the effect of the FFT. We go back to the clip. By tweaking the gain, will slightly change how much effect it's got. As they say, here's one I prepared earlier. I've got these series of clips here, which are all this one. And what I've done is I've just tweaked the settings to achieve different looks. And then I've done Control Shift T or Command Shift T if you're on a Mac to change the thumbnail. This is a really good tip for uh, using any generative sources when you want to have presets and you want to actually see what they look like. You've got the safe preset functionality here so you could save it there and give it a name and then load it straight from there and that's very handy too but it doesn't give you the visual cue as to what this actually is so i think this is a very handy tip for us using any generative content you could have a whole array of different presets on a deck that you can easily select just by glancing at them i'm going to quickly run through some of these presets so you get a general idea of what can be achieved this is not the whole array of things that you could make. As I keep saying, experimentation really pays off. So from this kind of fine line, neon looks to more shiny, metallic, plasma-like even effects, you can make isolated elements like this heart, for example. I've got a layer with a gradient underneath so you can actually see that it's got a slight extrusion on it and it's got a drop shadow. Also with the wipe, the shapes don't actually disappear as such as you can see here. They're always present and they're black. This is really good for using as masks and achieving all kinds of effects on black background. This is more that plasma-like effect, slower wipes with different animation, laser-like zooms. If we change the background, you can get more of that kind of laser feel for it. Another good tip is that you can animate any of the parameters in here to the BPM, to your timeline, whatever you might want, which allows you to create really long clips that never loop and that might last as long as you want, always changing. You could be changing the shape every 32 bars, for example. And then you can get into the nitty gritty of some of the other settings and vary them slightly over long periods of time to achieve an ever evolving animation that is sound reactive, which is extremely handy. Nice shiny stars. Neon stars, laser stars, metallic kind of stars. The possibilities are truly endless. To finish off, and this might be stating the obvious, is that you could stack several of these sources over each other, like I've done here, to create really intricate interplays of different shapes. The compositing possibilities of this are absolutely vast you could have uh, different colors interacting with them each other you could have different shapes interacting with each other you could have a background layer with a solid filled shape you could have a, an overlay with a really fine shape it really is extremely versatile and as you can with any generative source you could easily just render whatever you want from this so that's it for today i hope you've enjoyed this and it's opened up your eyes to the potential of using generative sources please like and subscribe as it really helps my channel and i hope to see you here next time <music>